Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. All right, 23 minutes before 12 o'clock, this rainy, cool Tuesday, 74. Yeah, still 74 degrees here at the Paddock Mall. Wow. And uh, we're going to have fun with Joe. Of course, Joe's not here, so we're going to have fun with Dan. Uh, and uh, the interesting thing about Dan Martone is that he is, if you didn't already know this, an actor. And you have actually worked with Robin Williams. So we wanted to start a little bit early today because today's game is all about Robin Williams. We have the na- I have the name of the characters from the movies. Mm-hmm. And then the game will be you and Robin have to tell me the name of the movie. Okay. Uh, but first, I want to hear... About about your experience you worked with robin williams actually at one point how cool is that what and what movie was that a patch adams and you were a, an actor in the movie were you a, were you considered uh what do you call it what's well it was three parts i had an actual small role i had an extra role and then i was also a stand-in for another actor who passed away in this same movie which was philip seymour hoffman oh wow so i was an actor stand-in for philip seymour hoffman and did you get to be with, with yeah. Robin Williams at all? Yeah, quite a bit actually. And, and what? Was, so did you like, have lunch with him or anything? Like that? Yeah, yeah, we had lunch many times on the set, and then uh, with Philip, we had lunch off the set, and wow. so it was. Wow. I got to know him. I, you know, you, I don't know if you can ever really know somebody within a month. You right, know, right. I had about a month to to spend some time with him, and it was it was a cherished time in my life. Yeah, I bet. That I look back, and I mean, he especially was especially now. Now that he's gone. Yeah, it, you know, extremely, extremely sad. I, I'm. I, I was uh, pretty broken up last night, actually, when I got the news, and it was just, you know, such a, a wonderful man when I knew him, and you know, obviously had some deep, deep issues that I was I was not aware of. You, you hear about his issues and certain things, but you never think that they're that deep. That do you have any any that. moment from that month that resonates the most? Well, of course, when you get to know him enough to where you can ask for the pictures and autographs and, and you know, be on that personal level. And then when he walks up and he says, uh, don't call me Mr. Williams. That's don't know. My name's Robin. Come on. What are you doing? And he just had that mm-hmm. kind of personality where he didn't want to be treated that way. But did you say you have to still call me Mr. Martin? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are limits, Larry. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> you can't go crazy on me now. You know, let's show some respect. So, so for those who have who have Patch Adams on like a, a DVD, yep. uh, where do we see you in that? What, do you have uh, Scene 12, number 40. No, I don't, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I think it was Scene 12 though, but I was in the balloon room scene and part of the, uh, the staff of doctors in the cabin. So you were a doctor in mm-hmm. the movie. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I've, you don't remember? Well, I remember the picture. You showed me a still. The still. Yeah, well, the stills are different. Yeah, the stills are different because those were with a different camera. So now I have to actually watch the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll show you later. So so um, w- w- when was this? When was Pat Adams made? 1998. Wow. And this was in North Carolina? Well, it released 1990. Was this North Carolina? It was, yeah. Biltmore Estate. So how did you, I mean, were you an actor in North Carolina or was this yeah. just something you did on the fly? No, that was that was when I was in the mix of it, trying to get going and trying to get my career off the ground with it. And right. so I had, I'm trying to think if I had an agent for that one or if I went out on my own. I believe I went out on my own with that one and contacted the agency that was doing the casting and then got in touch with them and went and did the interviews. Wow. So you heard... Like you're into your acting, you find that this this big budget movie with a huge star is going to be mm-hmm. filming in your own area. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised. I was in five of them up there. There were quite a few big movies going on up there. Really? Mm-hmm. See, we used to have that here. Robin was part of that film commission thing, and then well, we're working on getting that back here. They dropped the ball. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get that back. It, it was nice up there. There and here have two things going for them, which is a right to work state, because SAG and AFTRA require a certain amount of salary. When you're working on a job, Florida and North Carolina are two places where, bottom line, they don't have to pay you much. They can pay you minimum wage. So it opens the door for more extras and more people just wanting to get into it and do things. It's, wow. it's, it's got its pluses and its minuses, obviously. If you're sagging after and you're working on the set, then you have to be paid quite a bit more. Uh, back then, I think it was 1200 a week or something like that. Wow. So, are you sag? 
No, I'm qualified, but I did not get my SAG or after card because I, I wanted to work. I didn't want to not be because I couldn't have been in the movie. I would not have been oh, able right, to be I part understand. of that production yeah. had I been SAG and after. I'm qualified. I've got enough credits. I just didn't. I didn't get it because I wanted to work some more. Oh my gosh! So dopey question, probably common question, but was Robin Williams? The same when you were with him as we know him on TV. Well, he's many characters on TV, so yeah. that, that's kind of a hard question. But he is for the most part. At the end of the day, he was tired like everybody else was. We're working fourteen-hour days, yeah, so yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, he wasn't all bouncing off the walls as he is in a lot of the movies or, or was. But he was, he, yeah, <laughs> he was pretty crazy. That's, that's cool. We did a lot of takes. There was the Tom Shadyac was the director on the film. And at some point, Tom said, Robin, Robin, we got to move on. We're, I don't have it all day. Come on, man. Work with me. Oh, so, so, so because he was such a big star, he could actually say that wasn't good enough? He didn't, it wasn't all up to the director? No, no, absolutely not. Robin was his own entity and, and ad-libbing and doing different things and getting the right takes. And uh -huh. he would do the same scene in 40 different ways. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And each one of them funnier than the last. And he would just go on and go on and get better and perfect his art that way. Huh. Wow, wow. And oh, yeah. they would let him roll with it. Oh, he's Robin Williams. Yeah. At that point, too, yeah. that was, you know. He was already established. Yeah, he, yeah. it wasn't yeah. like he was just a new actor and they were going, nope, can't say that. Yeah. It was do what you want to do. Well, he was very serious in that movie, too, um, uh, especially when he found out about the young woman, the fellow. Oh, yeah. That yeah, in parts that of it. That was uh, very, it was very serious. Very dramatic him. acting portion during that time. He's in two movies this year, too. Yeah, and it, the next one's coming out, um, uh, The Night of the Museum again. It uh, should be coming out in December. Oh, wow. That's about the third one, mm -hmm. third night at the museum. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have fun with you. All right. Uh, and and uh, I hope it's not too sad that I picked all Robin Williams films. I thought it's it a good a memorial. It, it, is, it is a sad moment in time and in history for for everybody that, that knew him and, and just appreciated his art. It's, it's, it's a very tragic, tragic thing, and... And I hope he's in a better place. Me too. Did you ever see that movie where he went to a better place? I did. And that, believe it or not, was one of the first things that crosses my mind that uh, what he did. And, and in that movie, you know, he saw firsthand what, what somebody's interpretation of what that would be like yeah, if you did yeah. that and where you were in that place. And, yeah. and I hope he's not there in that position. So today, I will tell you the character that, that he vague, played. Wasn't it? That he played. <laughs> no, no, I that was terribly vague. vague. If you saw the no, movie, no, you know what yeah, that meant. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, and I did see it. that one. So, mm -hmm. all right. So I'll tell you the name of a character he played. Okay. And you just simply tell me the name of the movie. And like I was telling, these are hard because you remember the movie, but the guy's <laughs> name sometimes because it's Robin Williams. You remember Robin Williams, not the name of the character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who? Who are? The, I mean, what are the prizes today? And then we'll oh, right, right, prizes. You guys want to give away some stuff, huh? Okay. Yep. <laughs> what is this thing? This is cool actually a bamboo set a four piece utensil set made out of bamboo I think bamboo is better than wood it doesn't absorb so many uh, germs really yeah pretty versatile I never knew that mm -hmm. naturally replenishing blah 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 blah. harder than maple wood stronger than steel wow sounds really? like superman stronger than steel <laughs> <laughs> I'm know. not buying that I bamboo well, I can break bamboo with my knee I can't anyway so it's what a spatula a, a a scraper. Yeah, it's got a holder, a spatula, a scraper. I don't know. Is okay. that what you call that? I have no idea what that is. I think it's a spatula. You can deal. flip hamburgers with that. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever that is. You could. It doesn't say what they are. And there's a slotted spoon. Here you go. There you go. Can you hear them? <laughs> is that it? That's not the whole prize, I hope. No, 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 that's not it. But that's pretty good, though. The bam bamboo's expensive. You ever bamboo floors? I looked at bamboo flooring. No, it's never did. a fortune. I, I never bambooed yeah. a floor. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboozled one? <laughs> I may have bamboozled one. All right. On top of that, we've got a Bob Wines $20 gift certificate. I have, for Chick-fil-A, a free grilled chicken sandwich, Chili's $5 gift certificate, and two tickets to the Shriners Rodeo. And each ticket is good for two adults and two children. So you can get in four adults and four children with those two tickets. Oh, oh nice. Not okay. Bad. Really nice. And and also there's a one-day single pass at the Appleton Museum for one person and an Appleton mug. So All right. So all of those prizes will go to the winner, and the winner is determined by whichever one of two people bet on the winner here. So if you bet on Dan and he wins, you get all that. If you bet on Robin and she wins, you get all that. The loser gets nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. But a chance to do it again tomorrow. That's right. The phone number to call if you'd like to bet on oh. Dan or Robin is 622-WOCA. Was there something we forgot? No, no. She got it. Okay. 622-WOCA. We'll take your call during the break and we'll take the break right now. 
Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. We should eat our larger meals earlier in the day so we have energy and eat our smallest meal at night so the body can focus on sleeping. Successful relationships aren't supposed to be perfect. They require vulnerability. Telling yourself that a guy isn't good enough, our expert says you're really just giving yourself an excuse to stop trying. Couples should send two texts a day that provoke interest. Like, I want to tell you about this cool vacation idea I have. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Sign up for this year's Marion County Heart Walk and be part of a local movement that's helping others live longer, healthier lives. Join me, Corey Poole, your 2014 Marion County Heart Walk chairman, and walk with me on Saturday, October the 4th at the Baseline Road Trailhead. It's a free event promoting physical activity and heart-healthy living. To find out how you can help fight the number one killer of all Americans, visit us online at marionheartwalk.org. That's the sound of your skin cooking. Because it's August, it's Florida, and it's hot. That's the sound of cool, refreshing water as you splash into your new radiant pool from ASP, America's swimming pool company. And right now is the perfect time to put a radiant pool in your yard. Not only will you be cooling off in style while adding value to your home, but now through Labor Day, with any radiant pool purchase, you'll receive an all-inclusive Cancun getaway vacation for four. So you can enjoy your new pool all year round and get an incredible getaway vacation anytime you want it. And radiant pools can be installed underground, above ground, and anywhere in between. And did you know that you could find Finance your new pool with an interest rate as low as 4.99%. But you have to act now. This deal ends on Labor Day. So call ASP, America's Swimming Pool Company, 352-861-7229. That's 352-861-7229. Or stop by their new showroom, 9169 South Highway 441 in Ocala. All right, 11 minutes before 12 o'clock. All right, we have our players, and uh, uh, Bill is betting on Robin. Larry is betting on Dan and not me. And, sure, uh, Larry. Here we are. Now this, so this is all uh, kind of a tribute uh, to Robin Williams. I will name the character he played, and your job is to tell me the name of the movie. Okay, okay. and I can tell you the, the uh, year, too, that okay. the movie came out. All right. The, is that the clue afterwards? or? Uh, in some cases, I have no choice. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, John Keating was the character. John Keating, what was the name of the movie? Is it Vacation? No. Good Morning, Vietnam? No. Oh, hook. No. It was 1989. Does that help? You Goodwill know? Hunting. No. John Keating. I'm trying John to picture Keating. that. I'm trying to picture that character. 89. John Keating. Yeah. Come on, do you know? Is it Dead Poet Society? It is That's Dead Poet it. Society, yes. Mm. All right, who's that point for? For Mr. Martone. Woo! <laughs> good job. Larry and Dan. I'm bored with <laughs> Thank one. You. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Uh, here's one. Uh, 1991. All right, maybe I should have held that back. Oh. Anyway, Jerry the Mime. Jerry the Mime is the character. Fisher King? No. Jerry the Mime is the character. The I'm, photograph? I never heard of this movie. The fo- photograph? The No. Is he bad, the bad guy in that the it's, photograph movie? It's blank no. the blank. There's a the, the in the middle of the title. Blank, blank the, the blank. Blank the blank. Harry the horse. <laughs> <laughs> no. In 1991, Jerry the Mime, uh, Robin Williams played that character in the movie called Shakes the Clown. I don't remember that. Oh, oh my either. gosh. At Shakes, all. Shakes the Clown. Kind of an indie film, film maybe? Might he did a lot be. of indies. Could, is it? Wow. Uh, here's another one he played. Here's, the character was called Vladimir Ivanov. Oh. Vladimir Ivanov. Oh, that was that concentration camp movie. That rush, uh, uh, Russia on on the brink of Russia on the edge of oh my god <laughs> what is the name of that movie? <laughs> Come on, do you know? Mm. Well, that other one was that Jack the Bear? No, it was Shakes the Clown. Oh, 
sorry. It's close. Okay. No, oh, 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 Moscow on the Hudson. Moscow on the Hudson. Nice, right. Okay. Moscow on the Hudson is right. You knew that. Right. Right. No, I didn't, actually. Oh, I, didn't. Okay. I did not. All right. Uh, this one I did see, by the way, this next one. Uh, not that that helps you. Uh, but <laughs> Dr. Malcolm Sayer was the character. <laughs> you did see it. I did see this movie. <laughs> Fantastic. Dr. Malcolm Sayer. Did you Manji? No. I always forget about Jumanji. That was an awesome movie. Really? Yeah, I liked it very much. Dr. Malcolm Sayer. Malcolm Sayer. Somebody can help Sayer. you out. Come on, you know what movie that was? Is it Good Will Hunting? No, no. Awakenings? Good it is Awakenings, oh. yes. Thank oh, you. Oh, that was, okay, that was the one with the colors and everything. Yeah, where they woke up from their... Uh... Yeah, okay. Alan Parrish. Alan Parrish. What movie was he... Was his character named Alan Parrish? That was Jumanji. That is Jumanji. Oh, That's good exactly job. Right. Um... Uh, in 1998, he was the title character, so I can't tell you his name because his name is the name of the movie. Mr. Doubtfire. No. Oh. Patch Adams. Patch Adams is oh, right. Oh, good job. <laughs> Patch good I shouldn't do that. That's terrible. I should not do that. <laughs> no, no, no. I should no, get no. credit for that. No, one. no, you got. I did have a small, Larry cool, I had a small inside track on that. One. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. He was Alan Hackman in a movie. That came out in 2004. Alan Hackman. Was that Vacation? No. Spliced or cut? The cut? Cutter? Ooh. Cutters? Ooh, you're very close. The cutting? The cutting board? The cutting splicing? It was splicing. the bad guy It's the name movie. of some software. Uh, and you're on the edge of it right there. Uh, they, they were called cutters because they would splice the film and right. so on and so forth. But there's a, the name of the movie is also the name of software used in filmmaking. This is not Adobe. Uh, f- uh, <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. I, I don't know. My mind just... I don't right. know Final Cut Pro. Final Cut. Final well, cut. without the Pro. There without you the go. Pro. Final Cut, yeah. All right, in 2006, he played Teddy mm. Roosevelt in a movie. Oh, uh, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum is right. There you go. Yay, Bill, we have two. <laughs> Larry and Dan have five. Uh, I'm guessing because there's a slash that he played two characters in this movie. Two characters. Uh, Raymond and Lovelace. Lovelace? Raymond and Lovelace, yes. Lovelace. <laughs> it's a movie that came out in 2006. <laughs> Lovelace. 2006? Yeah. So he did two movies that year, obviously. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Raymond and Lovelace. Yeah. Uh, it's just a slash between Raymond and Lovelace. So either the character changed his name or uh, he played two characters in the same movie. Hmm. Oh, gosh. I just Photograph? Don't... No, nobody's calling it to help. It's Happy Feet. Oh. Happy oh. Feet. The that, penguins. Was that, was that, so he wouldn't have been seen. That was just a voice. His right, voice yeah, voice. Okay, happy okay, feet. okay, okay. Um, let's see. In um, the next movie, he played Lance Clayton. Lance Clayton. The year was 2009, if that helps. Was that the vacation? No. <laughs> I don't see vacation on here anywhere. The oh. Th- that's Chevy Chase. Uh, right? Oh, RV. No, That's not what I'm RV. Of, oh, that was a good a one. Yeah. RV. Yeah, okay. RV. Uh, 2009, huh? 2009. He played Lance Clayton. 2009, huh? Right. <laughs> if I keep repeating the year, maybe something will change. No, I got nothing. Yeah, world's, yeah. world's Greatest Dad. World's Greatest Dad. That was. Oh, yeah. Did you see that movie? Yeah, he did that one with John Travolta and Kelly Preston, actually. Uh huh. Was that a good one? It was okay. Mm-hmm. It, it was kind of along the lines of RVing, actually, the whole. Oh. oh, it was cute. Uh, in also in two thousand nine, he played the character Dan in what movie? Played Dan. Was that RV? No. <laughs> my fallback. That's my fallback. He played the character Dan. Wow. Just Dan. Dan. Last Dan. Name? So says, no last name. Doesn't say a last name. Does he have initials for the movie? O D. Two words. O D. Yeah. Uh, over. No. <laughs> O.D. 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 Oh dear. Obsessive delirium. No, it's old, On Darwin. Old dogs. Old dogs. Oh, I didn't see that one. In, see that uh, one? Oh, wait. Maybe that one was old with dogs? John Travolta. And, oh, now I've got my movies confused. I have to look. Uh, these are all uh, characters played by um, Robin Williams. In 1992, he played a character named Genie in what movie? Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh, right? yes. <laughs> that was a fun one. In 1992, he also played a character named Batty Coda. Hey, what now? He played a character named Batty Coda. Batty. Batty. With a T? 
T. B A T T Y? Yeah. Batty. Batty. Coda. Had to be a cartoon then. Looks like it, yeah. Batty, batty, batty. After Aladdin, nothing else mattered. <laughs> All right, nobody's guessing. I got it's nothing. Fern Gully, the last rainforest. Really? Oh. Yeah. Did not know that. Gosh. Uh, Adrian Cronauer. What was the name of the movie? He played that character. Adrian Cronauer. Adrian Cronauer. Got to give me a year. 1987. Oh, okay. So we're stepping back a little bit. Boy, do you know? You there? Goodwill Hunting? No. Come on, somebody there? No, mm. say anything. Uh, no. Adrian Cronauer. That's very familiar, though. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, it is Good Morning oh, Vietnam. Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh. I forgot about that. Uh, did I ask you about Peter Banning? Peter Banning. No, oh, that was Hook. That's Hook, yeah. Okay. We're still alive, though. We have three. Seven, That's one of my favorites right there. Uh, Dr. Cozy Carlisle, 1991. Dr. Cozy Carlisle. Dr. Cozy Carlisle was the character. With you from midnight to six. <laughs> and all the favorite hits. Dr. Car- what is it? Dr. Again? Cozy Carlisle. Oh, uh, that was in that. Oh. Come on, do you know? This is just a wild guess. Dead again? Dead again is right. Yes, and uh, who's the point for? By the way, that's a really good movie. Um, Dan, please. Thank Thank you. Is that the one where he dies and goes to heaven? No, that's the one where uh, the uh, guy is reincarnated and uh, Robin Williams is helping him get his head uh, straight. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. I'm going to go back and watch a few of these. Thank you. Uh, The next one, I have to tell you the year because the title character is the title of the movie. It's 1980. But he played the title character of this movie. It's a one-word name. One word, two syllables. Mm-hmm. Starts with a P. <laughs> <laughs> I like my dad. One word, two, <laughs> two syllables. I knew it was coming. That's why I had to giggle. <laughs> <clears throat> one word, two syllables. Starts with a P. Right. 1980. Like Peter. Right. Popeye. I did see this movie, and it was Popeye. Yes. Oh. And my favorite thing about Popeye... Oh, that's oil. right. No, no, the songs were written by Harry <laughs> Nilsson. Oh, okay. Oh, and, that's and right. And there were some wonderful songs in that movie. Oh, well, all right. All right, Daniel Hillard. Uh, what movie did he play Daniel Hillard? Daniel Hillard. Yeah. Daniel Hillard. Oh, 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 Mrs. Doubtfire. That is Mrs. Doubtfire, yes. Oh, okay. yeah. There we go. Um, let's see. Um, wow. Uh, okay. This year... This year, as in now? As in right now. He play, maybe didn't even come out yet. He plays the character Henry Altman. I don't know if this movie came out already or not. It says 2014. 2014, Henry Altman. I don't know. I know he did another small independent film. I don't okay. know if this is it. It's called The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. Ah, yeah, that was his, that's his point. Oh, the okay. Wow, wow. Gosh. Right, who wins, Robin? Oh, Larry wins. He has nine. Bill has four. So, Larry, come pick up your prize. Yay! All right, Good congratulations. Job. All right, thank you, Dan. That hey, was, thank you, guys. That was fun. Now I've got to watch Patch Adams and, and find that balloon room. <laughs> yeah. Find that balloon room. <laughs> All right, hang in there. Uh, Fox News coming up, followed by Glenn Beck. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Fans today remembering Robin Williams. He entertained us for so many years. Yeah, I love Robin Williams. He's always made me laugh. Williams' death at 63 ruled a suicide. Among his movies, The Birdcage.